Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Stella Chroma, I suspect Nargles, and I'm going to do some feather foils. I'm going to be starting off with Dainty Digits Glitter Be Gone, and I'll be using Lollipop Posse Lacquer, a distinct aura of dottiness. I got this from the last polish pickup order I got in. And here we go. I've got my base coat on and already dry. I'm going to start off with a capping that free edge there and going in for that very first coat. Now, I want you guys to know, my jaw dropped. This camera is not showing you guys what I saw, but my jaw literally, literally dropped open when I saw this polish going on my nails. And I know you ladies know what I'm talking about. One of those kind of events. So now I'm going to go in with a second coat of this. Maybe you're starting to kind of see a little bit but nowhere in this video or even my swatch photo is really going to show you how crazy pretty this one is. It's got shimmer and like um, almost clear flakies with that, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's insane pretty. And I am doing a third coat. I wanted to see if it would build up any more, and it did. So I am happy I went ahead with that third coat. It's just gorgeous. There we go. Okay. Getting a little too close. Hoping the blurry would help, but it's crazy pretty. Love it. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down so that I can do the foil part of this mani. Sorry, my hand's all in the way, all goofy looking. Y'all have only got a couple more bad videos to get through before, you know, because I got my new tripod today, my like seventh tripod, so hopefully I can get my setup straightened out to where I'm not making shadows and I'm not putting my hand in the way too much. But look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, so today I'm going to be using this star glue. It's the star nail foil glue. And I've got a couple of little pieces of um, foils cut out already because I'm just going to do a couple of accent nails. So I'm going to apply this foil glue. You're going to want to do, you know, a nice even finish coat. I might even get mine a little too thick, but as long as you let it dry, it'll, I think it'll be okay. Um... So I'm putting a little more on my brush, and then now I'm trying to make sure I've got it smooth and covered side to side, top to bottom. It does go on kind of cloudy looking, and um, it'll be clear when it dries. So now I'm going to go in with the foils, and I just thought these were really pretty, but and I was expecting them to show up on the nail polish better. On film, it's not giving you a real good indication of what I'm getting to see. Uh, I get, maybe it's the hollow in the foil that disrupts it, but they turned out really cute. And now I'm going to go in for this other one on my other accent nail. And I'm just rubbing down with my finger first, and then I go in with this cuticle pusher that I got from Sally's. It's got like a rubber end on it. I really like using that one for this foil play. You just rub it until you think it's all on there good and ta-da got some little feathers all over the place yay I'm gonna be topping it with pitcher polishes revolution it's made for foils <clears throat> you could use a water-based thing or gel polish or you know something else um <clears throat> excuse me I used to have one from little Ondine that you can use um, I gave that one to a friend and just held on to this one just as long as you know it and you don't have to use this special type top coats when you use just like all foils but anything that's got metallic -y looks or um, you know hollow you know if it's because it can crinkle it but now that that has dried I'm gonna go in with my fast and hard top coat and seal the tips right there and seal that all the way in. I have to get to it before, you know, that sticky glue starts catching fuzzies and dog hairs and stuff, you know. <laughs> get that nice, shiny, glossy top coat on there. 
But I really, really enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I do have a swatch photo coming up here real soon. I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.